Many process mining algorithms produce Petri nets from process logs. Can't we use Petri nets to generate process logs? Yes, of course. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. Today I'll show you one way of creating a log from a PetriNet. It consists of editing a PetriNet with Voped and then use Voped's quantitative simulation to generate a log in XES format. We have been using Voped and a workflow net in a previous video. The steps are very similar, only that this time we use a pure PetriNet. The example this time is about creating and publishing a report. After being created, the report is edited several times. Eventually, it is being quality checked and published. It cannot be published without going to quality check first. This is an example of a data-centric business process with a weak control flow structure. It's one of these examples where classic process modeling techniques struggle because they are better suited for processes with a stronger structure. If we try to model this process with a Petri net, we get something like this. You can find this Petri net in the supplementary material below. I'll put a link in the description. If you take a longer look at the diagram, you get the point of what I was trying to describe earlier. However, the PetriNet is neither elegant nor simple. We have three tasks here called Edit Report and two tasks called Check Report. We'll come back to more elegant ways of modeling this process in the next video. With this PetriNet, we can start quantitative simulation for any number of cases that we choose. Here we have 200 cases. After looking at the log, we export it as an XES file. You can find the XES file in the supplementary material. The XES file can then be loaded into any compatible process mining tool. Here's an example of how this looks in PROM. And that's how I produce logs with PetriNets. If you want to see how to create a log for the same process with a declarative process mining tool, watch the next video of this series.